Okay, today we're going to be talking about finding the mean or the average using a TI-83 plus a T or a TI-84. The TI-83 is very similar to the TI-83 plus, so if you have that calculator, that will work also. Okay, so first, you're going to be given a data set. So this is what will be given. Okay, some sort of data set, and they say find the average. Okay, if you saw the last video, to find the average, you would just take all these numbers, take all these numbers and add them all up and divide by however many numbers we have. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you would add all those up and divide by 11. And what this does is it kind of finds the central tendency of all of these numbers. Okay, so we could do this a traditional method, just do 9 plus 4 plus 7, but basically that takes a lot of time and there's better ways to do it. Okay, so here's the first step of finding the average. You want to enter the data into a list. And you'll get comfortable doing that. And the way you do that is you hit the stat button and then you hit the number 1, which is the edit, the edit, okay, which you just hit enter. You hit the enter button on number 1, okay. So let's do that, stat, okay, and the enter is the number 1, so you just want to hit enter on number 1, and there goes your list. And as you can see, I already have this data in my list, but I'm going to show you. If you have data in your list that you don't want, you highlight on the L1, you hit the clear button and you hit the down. That'll clear out your list. And the way you put data is you just hit the number. So my first number is 9, so I hit 9. And to put it in there, you hit enter. Now that's the first point in my data set, in my list, 4. And you just keep doing this until all the points are in. Okay, now if you notice, it's always good to know how many points are in your data set, and this helps you. If you look at this L1 parentheses 12, well, if you see the 12, I'm on the 12th row of this list, and it's blank. Well, if you highlight up one, this is 3 is my last number, and there's an 11 there. So that verifies that I have 11 data points in this, in this list. Okay, so now what I'd like to do is I'd... I prefer to work on my calculator screen, so to get back to my calculator screen, I quit. So I hit second mode, and that's optional right now. Okay, so now that I have my data in the list, we want to go ahead and calculate the average. So the way we do that is we hit stat. Okay, we want to arrow over to calc, and then we want to hit the number one, which is one bar stats, which is one variable statistics. Okay, and then we want to hit enter there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I hit the stat button, the calc, so I need to arrow over to the calc, and I want to hit on the number one, one variable statistics. Okay, so this is blinking here. So you have to be a little careful. If you put your data set in any other list than one, let's say list two, then you would be forced to put the L2 there. So see L2 is right above that, you'd hit second L2. Okay, and then L2, and then you would hit enter. But since I have my data in list one, the calculator pre uh, presets it so that list one is fine. Okay, so it's preset for list one. So if you have it in list one, you don't have to actually hit it. Okay, so let's just hit enter, and we want to look for our X bar. The calculator does everything in X's. So our average would be 7.6363 repeating. Okay, so that's how you find the average of a data set using the TI-84. Thank you and have a nice day.